Hello, it's Zoe from Squeak Chimp and today I'm going to show you how to make tube beads. So I've got some examples here. These are obviously ones I made earlier in the best Blue Peter style. And these are ones that I've made to look like batik fabric. So you can see that they are um, tube shape. The ends are all even and the sides are all smooth. And I do get a lot of questions asking me, how do I get my tube beads so neat? So I'm gonna show you. There you go, put those in there. So the thing you need to start with, and <coughs> excuse me, the thing you need to remember most about tube beads is that your paper has to be straight. And I know that sounds really obvious, but I see people rolling tube beads and what they end up with is wonky ends. And I think that a lot of the time that is down to your paper not being 100% straight. So if we can sort that out from the beginning, then you're one step on the way to making proper tube beads. So for this example here, I have got some paper because I'm going to use these beads um, for something else afterwards. So I've chosen to have some pink strips down the edge of my beads. Um, and for these two beads, I had black strips down the edge. And it just means that when you finish off your beads, you've got a nice end to them. So for these ones, I'm going to have pink ones. So I've got the sheet of paper and I've cut one out. And the thing to remember about them is that what you want to make sure is that your both ends are definitely the same width. That you haven't got anywhere along here where they are slightly smaller, slightly larger, and that you've cut it really straight and I'd say for these examples you probably are better to cut it with a paper trimmer, a guillotine, something like that rather than scissors because then you will definitely get your straight edge because you can line up the end. Okay so for this example I don't need these little white tabs at the end that's just where my printer won't go right up to the edge so I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm going to chop those off like so. And for anyone interested in the size of these strips, these are, they are hmm, about uh, 2.7 centimetres or one inch and I think that's one sixteenth. Not great on my inches, don't really use them very much, but yeah, I think it's one sixteenth. Okay, so I'm going to use a five no, a three millimetre roller, which is this one. And again, if I just measure it on here, I think in terms of inches, I think it's just over an eighth, which I think then would be about three sixteenths. I don't know, maybe someone could put in the comment what, what size it is. I think it's three sixteenths. Okay, so let's start with the paper rolling. So obviously I've got it on the reverse. And I've got my paper bead roller and I'm going to slot it in the end. Now I have bead rollers that have a slot. I don't have a slot that goes all the way through because I find that if you have a slot all the way through, then you don't always end up with such a clear bead because you end up with a piece of paper that's kind of squashed across the middle of the bead. Does that make sense? So my personal preference is to use one with a slot because then that little slip of paper, which is only this much, can easily be pushed to one side. Okay. So I start my bead quite high up here and you don't want to be really tight with this either. You want it quite loose but not too loose. You'll get what I mean in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it in place and roll. So I'm just going to roll a few rounds and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it up and I've moved it up quite considerably and I'm going to swap my stance I'm going to move my paper over and already I can see that this has started to slip down so I like to put my finger here on the base of this and push everything down from the top and now it's lined up now I'm going to keep this finger on here and I'm going to roll slowly I'm just going to do a few and if I think it's gone a bit wonky on that end I can just push from this end Roll it. If I think we're going off track slightly, just roll it. 
keep check on at the end. Yep. It's not a fast process, rolling a tube bead. It's not something that you can just whiz away, but I like to be quite slow with my beads because I am a little bit of a perfectionist and I like my beads to be smooth and even. So you can see that end is looking nice. So that end is looking nice. There is slightly, there is a little bit that's sticking out, but you know what, we can sort that out in a minute. Fundamentally, most of this is okay. So I'm just gonna flip it over, I've got my tap. I just need to apply a little bit of glue. And that's what I like about these glue applicators. So you can just smooth it out. You don't need loads because this, this is just plain old printer paper. The stuff you'd stick in your printer and that you'd make letters with. So nothing fancy and it sticks glue really well. Well, glue sticks it really well, should I say. So this is the bit where some people kind of come unstuck and they end up with slightly wrinkly beads. This is the bit where you really do need to take your time because once this is stuck, you can't unstick it. So just slowly making sure that you are definitely lined up at the edges, slowly close your bead. Like so. Sometimes I just roll it in my palm just to make sure that we've definitely got a nice smooth edge. Okay, and then I can just pop it off the bead. Now, remember I said that we've got a little bit here. What I like to do is to put it down on the table like so. And with my other end on my bead roller, which is flat, and it's got my um, one and a half millimetre in, I'm just going to pop that in there and push that down like so. And then you can see it's now flat like so and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do something completely different to what I would normally do and I might show you later what I've done with that so if you haven't if you uh, aren't following me on face Instagram or Facebook I will leave the links below because I quite often post pictures on there when I say quite often lots of all the beads that I make and all the things that I get up to and um, you'll also find me on Pinterest and I'm on Etsy, eBay, Amazon, and I've also got my own website. Quick sneaky peeky. Quickly, write the code down, because you'll get 10% off if you buy directly from me. So yeah, I will leave the links to those below. I have loads of paper bead templates in my um, shop. And um, yeah, I hope you like the tutorial. Uh, any comments or feedback you want to give, please do in the comments box below. And also, if there are any other bead shapes that you'd like me to show you, I can show you that. There is a basic how to make paper beads on my YouTube channel as well. I will leave the link um, probably in one of the bits above. Somewhere up here. And um, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.